Welcome to another episode of the Boy Network. And today, we are going to be looking at education. Is school a scam or not? Well, I'm sure you have your own answers. But today, we're going to be answering it. And I'm sure that you are going to see why, you know, school is not a scam. Today, I, again, I have with me Ikenna. He's back and we are discussing the issue of education. Why it is important that we men get an education. We are living in times where a lot of people are trying to, you know, um, cast aside this whole thing but first of all let's start from this why do you think education is important even in today's you know climbs okay i think when we speak about education we need to um ask ourselves is it formal or informal mm -hmm. i know back in the day we had informal education where we uh, i think from the Igbo setting we had the, the apprenticeship is education but it's informal mm -hmm. then we had the school um system which, which is, is the formal. formal so the question now is which type of education we're talking about, formal or informal. Regardless of the case, they are very important because they both help in shaping the man. Um, at the end of education, we want to provide value to the society, either via work or being a business. Mm -hmm. But at the, at the end or the forefront of the end of it is, is to from provide education, value and from, from education. education. Yeah. So yes, it's very important. All right, people like to say school is a scam because they are try, they are leaning a lot towards informal education. They believe that um, informal education using the Igbo apprenticeship system is a lot more beneficial than being in the four walls of a university or a secondary school or so. What do you think about that? I think it's basically uh, about the content of the education that you're talking about. Mm. School is not a scam. That is, that is certain. I think some, in doing this, um, um, scenario now some people actually point out to some people like Zuckerberg and the likes. Now they, they dropped out they actually, and they actually went to school. And they stay they small. Did. And the value or the, the level at which they went is different. Okay, um I won't call the value at which they get from Harvard or it's definitely not the same with you I <laughs> get in um Oka or University of Ibadan. Yes. Different. So if I drop out from Harvard, I can go ahead and be a VC, a mm -hmm. capitalist, and because I still have that um, orientation from that setting. So a different school is never as it's not and will never be a scam. Mm. It's because of, it all depends on the value that you, that you get from that institution. That some people go to school and they just pass through. Mm, the school does not really pass through them. So how do how do people now make the most of their time in school? Really, how do they do that? Um, education is not just formal in the school setting mm -hmm. it is physical it is mental so even in so a formal yeah. setting then that means there is informal education to be found there too so i i finished from Unibend, mm -hmm. and part of my education was also at the sports complex mm. where i played different um sports from football to volleyball to handball you've been getting one hockey stick that year no i still have my tennis uh. at the house too <laughs> i play hockey as well uh. you see no i didn't just limit it to what we did in the classroom mm -hmm. Even the dance and swimming. See, all this um, is too part of the education system. And it's not just physical, it's also mental. So at that point in time, when I left, I, even if, so even if um, you, uh, some people get three, um, third class, second class, that is not still where the value that they take off from that they are schooling. Um, yeah, the, the, the bonds and everything, the, the, should I say knowledge, street smart, everything they got, from all of those extracurriculars is what that they helps shapes the, the overall person. Interesting. All right. So maybe we we'll drink water small. Let's take a little breather. When we come back, we'll not try and reconcile everything to us as men. You know, now we now we now we know they go school pass these days. So we have to make sure that people see why this topic is important. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. My name is Chima and we've been talking about education. With Ikenna, and you know, we've talked about why school is not a scam, what is important, the informal and the, um, and the formal education, part of it all. Now we're going to look at it as men. These days, the statistics are there. I don't want to start ruling out the numbers now. A lot of men choose not to go to school these days. So um, why is it important that men especially get an education? No, I think um, I still need to bring it back. So when you talk about education, is, is it formal or informal? Mm. Because now men do not go to school. doesn't mean they don't take informal education. True. So I, I know people who, okay, let's take, I'm, I'm a tech. And you see, you see job posts. They don't ask about 
okay, I need you to finish from this school, get it to one. Mm. They just want to see competence. Can you do this or can you do that? So I don't need to go to school before. I think I've, since I've got, I've been in the job space, no one has asked me, um, where did you finish from? What did you finish from? Mm. Or did you finish with like That's the question with. You see, they, they, are, they are not bothered about formal, formal in the school setting. They, but they, cut on they the are about competence. Can you do this? Mm. So um, that is informal because now, if you see most of these boot camps, they tell you, okay, just come with your willing mindset. We, we train you, you, train you on enough. this particular field and you go ahead and be whatever you want to be. So the question is, are these people who are not going to school, what, what are they, are they? To educate themselves? Okay. That would be the right question. Mm. So the, some people go into photography. They don't need to go to school for that. They mm. don't need to um, they have that um, zeal. Okay, I want to learn this and find someone to teach them or something. Mm. Go to a boot camp. So it's, that means what you are saying now is that, yes, education is important and it doesn't have to be formal, but just make sure you get some form of education. Awesome. So what types of education do you think men should uh, make sure they get? Um, let's not talk about the informal and formal. Those ones are prob those ones are things that give you knowledge to you know add value. But I believe that there are some form of things that you need to know to function in the society. So what con what form of education do you where should men educate themselves in life? Oh, that question is sounds weird. <laughs> it sounds weird. Okay, let me rephrase it this way. Yeah. Okay, as a as a man making your way in the world. You need um, emotional intelligence. Do you think there should be emotional education somewhere? You need probably spiritual intelligence. Do you think there should be spiritual education? What forms of education should a man invest in to become a fully developed person? What type of education? Okay, the physical part is quite important because um, for every family, your spouse, your children, they're looking at you first for security. Mm -hmm. Um, once you are able to secure your family, then you provide for them financially. So, physical education, financial education. Physical as per me, go learn karate and all those things. You don't have to, don't be fit. <laughs> don't be like, um, don't, don't, don't be obese. <laughs> well, true. So, don't be fit. So, physical education, financial mm -hmm. education, very important. That's very important. So, we, you need to teach not just men, now everyone financial education. That's very important, financial literacy. Then, um, emotional education. Um, that's the EQ. Please, some people do not have a shroud of emotional intelligence in them. So um, sometimes that is very important. So not every time. Sometimes, all the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. All the time. All the time. Because there are some things that you would. People are tone to, deaf, man. <laughs> there are, there people are, are tone deaf. You get to um, encounter that you need emotional intelligence to do it. Mm -hmm. Not just physical, but sometimes men are always these physical beings and everything are fights. Mm -hmm. We'll just hear shit, finish. I even, I even had an experience recently with uh, a former colleague who, you know, we worked together and um, this person, I don't want to mention any gender, this particular person is someone who we literally babied. We literally babied, you get. Whatever the person needed, we were always doing what we could to make sure the person had it. But eventually it got to a little breaking point and then all sense and sensibilities were thrown out of the window and then relationships started dwindling down. So I believe that if there was actual emotional intelligence in play, there will be a lot of things that the person will notice and then will put into place and know that, okay, this is where we are coming from, this is where we are coming from. So truly, EQ is important for a lot of people to have, yeah. There is space, there is space for dialogue and conversations. I know I was in secondary school when I had a fight with a, a, a friend. And the seniors tell them to stop the crowd. They just call us together, put us in the air and say we should continue fighting. Kill Nasef. <laughs> and I left with a big eye, but you see, at that point, would have just what happened? Mm -hmm. Why are you fighting and dialogue? I mean, I think they did the street street way. Since when I want to die, I mean I die. So the first person to come outside will know that you know what is not worth it. <laughs> I'm very sure since that time you did not you did not you know try I, I don't again. fight anymore. I think you fight for me. So. <laughs> ah, ah boss, I want to be like you when I grow up. All right, so how can we make the most of it all, man? How can we fully imbibe and fully give out what we've learned as far as education is concerned? Um, I think um, we learn mostly when we teach others. Mm -hmm. so very important. First, I think there's this um, child that says when you learn something, you need to practice it for 
and her one day, six days, and, and then it becomes a part of you. So, and one of the ways which you be, are able to give out is if you learn first. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, invest in learning, then try and pass that knowledge to, to others. You see, um, with that ricochet or that butterfly effect, mm -hmm. you get to spread this learning culture amongst your friends and your friends and your friends and truly 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 nemo that quote non habits you cannot give what you do not have so it's very important that you have as much education within you be it formal be it informal because of the fact that we are in nigeria you must have some you know some street education and all of that so that everything will be balanced and then life goes on because as a man as a pillar one of your roles is to teach really to teach you're going to be you're going to be in charge of people so you have to make sure that you have enough education to give out thank you so much ikenna for joining me on this week's episode of the show i am grateful once again for you uh, for your experiences i've learned a lot i've learned a lot thank you for having me as usual as usual hopefully we'll do this some other time yeah yeah they're always very interesting yes so yes so and that's it on this week's episode of the boy network i hope that our discussion has sparked something in you and you finally understand the importance of education not just inform not just formal but informal as well educating yourself in all aspects of life because as a man one of your duties is to teach you have to be able to teach build up the society before you thank you so much once again and until we come your way with another episode my name is chima remain jiggy thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Dominican Media Presents. And you can follow The Boy Network on Twitter at The Boy Network underscore, at The Boy Network underscore, where you can get more information on the show. Follow me on my socials as well at Chimampam underscore. Very easy to pronounce, I'm sure. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.